of the reasons why I, I am no longer a Christian is because of the massive homophobia uh, within the Christian community. Sure, the homophobia has turned down a bit, but there are still passages in the Bible that's really homophobic. And most of it is pretty much within the Old Testament, which some people, they don't like to take the Old Testament and justify their hatred of gay folks. However, there is like a lot of double standards within the Bible, uh, even within the New Testament. So, you know, it's one of the major reasons why I became an atheist. And this asshole only reinforces the fact that I should remain a fucking atheist because he's a fucking asshole. Seriously, just take a look at this video. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And I just wanted to record a quick video about the news this morning about the shooting in Orlando. You know, this guy reminds me of a certain fat YouTuber. Joshua Fernstein. Yes, this guy must be related to Joshua Fernstein. <laughs> Holy shit. I guess a, a Muslim terrorist went into a gay bar and shot him up and um, there's 50 uh, sodomites, homosexuals that have been killed and another 50 some odd injured and then the uh, the Muslim guy himself was, was shot by the police it sounds like. And here's the good news and the bad news about this, you know. Good news and bad news during a massive shooting? Oh, this ought to be good. The good news is that there's 50 less pedophiles in this world because, you know, these homosexuals are a bunch of disgusting perverts and pedophiles. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that somehow having the attraction of the exact same sexes that you are born is the same thing as having a sexual attraction to little children? Shit! That's incredibly fucking stupid! How the fuck do you even come up with that conclusion? These two have nothing in fucking common! That's who was a victim here, are a bunch of just disgusting homosexuals at a gay bar, okay? But the, the bad news is that this is now going to be used, I'm sure, to push for gun control where, you know, law-abiding, normal Americans are not going to be allowed to have guns. You're not even scraping the ball in the barrel. The madness goes even further. For self-defense. And then I'm sure it's also going to be used to push an agenda against so-called hate speech. So Bible-believing Christian preachers who preach what the Bible actually says about homosexuality, that it's vile, that it's disgusting, that they're reprobates, you know, we're going to be blamed. Dude, you literally, you literally compared homosexuality to pedophilia. You can't go any lower than that, dude. How the fuck can you even come up with that conclusion when they have nothing in common? <sighs> the stupidity is unbelievably massive with this one. Okay, we may be on the same boat right now, but trust me, I wish to throw you overboard because what you say is absolute bullshit. Although, we do have a common enemy, which is the social justice warriors, which they will have be more than happy to blame Christianity for the Orlando shooting. You know how these social justice warriors act. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's all extremism. It's not just the Muslims, it's the Christians. I'm sure that that's coming. I'm sure that people are going to start attacking, you know, Bible-believing Christians now. Unless there are a social justice warrior, that's not going to happen. But they're definitely going to come after you. Because of what this guy did. Now, let me just be real clear. I've never advocated for violence. I don't believe in, you know, um, taking the law into our own hands. I would never go in and, and, and um, you know, shoot up a, a gay bar, so-called. Um, 
I don't believe it's right for us to just be a vigilante. According to you, being a vigilante means shooting up a bunch of gay people. That makes sense. We're supposed to obey the law of the land and obey the powers that be. So I would never take things into my own hands or become a vigilante. But I will say this, you know, the Bible says that homosexuals should be put to death. The Bible says a lot of things, but trust me, you're not going to follow any of those laws. Because either they're too extreme or too complicated for you to understand. So you only nitpick the ones that are convenient for you. In Leviticus 2013. Obviously it's not right for somebody to just, you know, shoot up the place. Because that's not going through the proper channels. But these people all should have been killed anyway. But they should have been killed through the proper channels as in... They should have been executed by a righteous government. What you're saying is that we need another goddamn holocaust. Are you Hitler? It would have, you know, tried them, convicted them, and saw them executed because in Leviticus 2013, God's perfect law, he put the death penalty on murder and he also put the death penalty on homosexuality. That's what the Bible says, plain and simple. Well, I hate to break it to you and, um, Sorry, Swift, but I have to say this. But your fucking Bible is total fucking trash. Not only is it full of bigotry and hatred, but also it contradicts itself. And uh, so, uh, you know, the good news is that at least 50 of these pedophiles are, are not going to be harming children anymore. By your own logic, pedophilia would have gone off the roof. Because, you know, there's a lot of gay folks out there. <laughs> But, you know, um, it seems that you Catholic priests out there have a real attachment to altar boys. Hmm. The bad news is that a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of the homos in the bar are still alive, so they're going to continue to molest children and, and recruit people into their filthy homosexual lifestyle. Ben, where the fuck do you get the idea that all homosexuals are fucking pedophiles? I really want to know because I haven't seen any Bible passages that says that homosexuality is the same as pedophilia. And then the other bad news is that this is going to now be used as propaganda not only against Muslims but also against Christians. And of course, Islam is a wicked religion. Of course, it's a disgusting religion. Of course, the Quran is false. Of course, you're going to say that because it's all in the Holy Bible. Jesus loved me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. That's right, specifically you. You are a very special snowflake. But the media makes a big deal out of stuff like this. And it's just, it, it's perfect. I mean, the devil, the devil loves this incident. What's with you goddamn Christians and, you know, this about, it's the devil's work, it's the devil's work, you know? Anything that doesn't fit your religion must be the devil's work, you know? That chair is the devil's work, that silver's the devil's work, everything's the devil's work. <laughs> you heard the region. You're the reason why I'm a fucking atheist, bro. God damn. Because it's perfect for him. Because now he can push his agenda of, oh, we need to love homos and stop being hateful because look at these acts of violence that are provoked. Even though I've never heard any Bible-believing Christian preacher say that we should take things into our own hands and, and, and execute the wicked. Trust me, if you were allowed to become a vigilante, you would kill anyone that you just don't like. Ah, oh, you disagree with my religion? Now you get a free trip to hell. You know, all, all, all I preach and all that any other, you know, Bible preacher have ever said about it is that it should be against the law to be homosexual, which it was against the law until 2003. You're still human regardless of your sexual orientation. So it would make sense to legalize being gay. Because there is no harm of being gay. In the US. And that, you know, Leviticus 2013 is still God's word. So. This Leviticus that fuck Leviticus, okay? If you're gonna follow the Old Testament, follow every fucking word of the Old Testament. Not just parts that you just like. 
Otherwise, you're nothing more than a big fucking hypocrite. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this attack. I'm not sad about it. I'm not going to cry about it. Because these people were going to die. These 50 people in the gay bar that got shut up, they were going to die of AIDS and syphilis and, and whatever else. Wow, that is the most asshole thing that I have ever heard. Like, imagine if someone was to walk up to you and say, you know what, even if you didn't get shot today, you'll eventually die of old age, which I'm going to be happy about. Yay! They were all going to die early anyway, because homosexuals have a 20-year shorter lifespan than, than normal people anyway. And, you know, at least, at least these dangerous predators, these dangerous, filthy pedophiles at this, at this gay bar, at least they're off the streets, you know. So I'm just trying to look on the bright side, you know. Bright side for you is pretty goddamn dark. Till then, I am the atheist gamer and keep gaming on.